As always, when we have tragic situations like this, it is important for us to discuss the impact it has on all of our mental health because it can be significant even if we are not directly affected. Joining us uh, to discuss this this afternoon is Dr. Brad Schwal, the president and CEO at the Center for Integrative Counseling and Psychology. Uh, doctor, thanks once again for being with us. We've uh, unfortunately had to touch base with you after too many tragedies. Um, I think we're noticing today, though, Dr. Schwal, that this one feels different because it has visited our community. You know, we hear about these a lot of times uh, on cable news, perhaps from other parts of the country. Uh, it does feel more acute when it has happened down the street from you. Mm -hmm. it, it does make it uh, more of a possibility and a reality in our minds when it is closer to home. Uh, our therapists in our, our center has offices all around the Metroplex, and certainly uh, with this event, those from that area uh, having just a, a sense of, of unease uh, with it being so close to home. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about coping with a violent incident like this. Again, that seems more amplified because we're closer to it this time. Uh, and I say coping because even if you're not directly impacted by the shooting that took place, you can still very much feel this. Yes, we, we always do say watch uh, your viewing of, of media. I, I do want to say it's important to talk to our kids about social media and images and news uh, that they may see, uh, particularly uh, if they have a propensity towards anxiety. I think secondly, it is important to talk, uh, to process all that is happening. And so uh, finding someone, a friend, a colleague, that you can process through because our our thoughts, our, our feelings, and then finally, uh, our actions are all involved and, and it's uh, uh, impacted and it's important to process those. And, and to process not only the feelings, I guess, of what has taken place here, but as we see uh, over and over again, as this happens across the country, uh, people have very strong feelings about what should happen next to try to prevent it from happening again. Is it important also to try to get some of that out uh, because I think there's a lot of frustration for a lot of folks. Most definitely. So, so one action item uh, would be those who live in the communities impacted, the church, uh, the schools, uh, surrounding the families with care, with uh, concern. Uh, we think about them first. And then as you talk about what's happening uh, in our society and in, in government, uh, all that is surrounds incidents like this talking about it, sharing, researching, understanding, certainly so much we can't control, uh, but the more that we do talk about it, it helps us to process uh, because thinking through it uh, helps us to have better understanding and, and much of it, it is impossible to understand, uh, but talking does help us. And paying attention, if our behavior changes, if uh, we are not wanting to go out, if we are having feelings over time uh, that there are anxious and that anxiety is increasing and we have thoughts about what might happen. So important to talk, uh, to seek professional help for sure. Uh, so be in tune with those things. What are you thinking about your safety? What are you thinking about what happened? What are the feelings you're experiencing? And then are, are your behaviors impacted at all? That's an interesting point, I think, especially in light of what has happened here too, uh, Dr. Schwal, because, you know, this is at a premium outlet mall. Uh, this could have been you, this could have been me, this could have been any of us laying on the ground out there when this was all said and done. And I think that that does tend to affect people more when they think, I've been to that place. That, you know, could have very easily been me. So you got to really uh, pay attention to, is this really changing your habits in day-to-day -day life? Absolutely. And, and life is so unpredictable. Uh, we all deal with traumas, uh, difficulties, crises. Uh, certainly uh, this at this level uh, uh, makes that uncertainty even more unsettling. Mm -hmm. uh, but by, as you said, being aware of how we are processing it, uh, that can help us to move forward, uh, to take action where we can, uh, to talk, uh, to process. Uh, but then also uh, live our lives fully. Last thing before I let you go real quickly here, Dr. Schwal, uh, a lot of kids have been, you know, afraid to go to school today. We've been hearing this from parents. How do you talk to the kids? What do you tell them? 
So very important to make sure they aren't getting misinformation, very uh, important to make sure they're not seeing images and, and learning too much in too much detail. Uh, it is important always to reassure our children that their schools work to keep them safe. Uh, we do allow them to have that sadness and fear. When we deny feelings, that doesn't work. We, we validate the feeling, but at the same time, we give them reassurance that their schools are caring for them and they are taking measures to keep them safe. So uh, as with all of parenting, it's this balance of validating the feeling, uh, but then also showing confidence, reassurance, uh, setting boundaries around our kids that are protective, uh, being in tune always, uh, but keeping moving forward. At the Center for Integrative Counseling and Psychology, Dr. Brad Schwal, uh, thanks once again for, for being with us on uh, another difficult day.